Hey guys, what's up? It's Devin. I'm here with my cat. Um, I don't know if you can see, but we're chilling and we're gonna talk to you guys today about hair masks. So these are my favorite hair masks. I've picked out four that I've used and that I really like and we're just gonna get right into it. So the first one is by Amika and it is called Soul Food. It is a really good just basic hair mask. It smells really good. It's really good for dry hair. I actually took this to Cabo when I went on vacation and I was in the sun so much my hair was just really dry and I used this every day. Um, every day that I wash my hair because I was in the water, I was in the pool, so I wash my hair every day and I use this every day and it was fine it wasn't too much to use that many days in a row it was totally fine so this is just a really good basic mask good for dry hair just kind of gives it an extra an extra little bit instead of regular conditioner so if you're somebody that needs a little bit more you could use this every day instead of regular conditioner or you can add this to your weekly maintenance of hair needs and use it like once a week. Um, again, just a really good basic hair mask, good for dry hair. Another one that I really like, it's a little bit more than basic, is the Daveness Let It Go Circle. So this is actually how it comes and you could probably get a few uses out of this. There's a lot in here. This particular one is, it says, time to relax hair and scalp masks. So this is good for dry hair and dry scalp. This one you can actually put right on your scalp, which a lot of masks and conditioners is like a big no-no. You don't want to really put it on your scalp because you can get extra oily with that. But this one actually is made for that. So this you can go ahead and put it right on your scalp. It smells so good. It's definitely very relaxing. This is really just a good hydrating hair hair mask hydrating for your scalp hydrating for your ends I've used this on really really dry hair a little bit more dry than what I would use this for not so much damage per se but maybe just you've used a lot of bleach and you need a little bit more this is a little bit more but still really lightweight at the same time so I highly recommend this this is definitely one of my favorite masks I would probably use this more like once a month if I didn't have extremely dry hair, um, then maybe like every two weeks if you're somebody that has a little bit more prone to like more breakage and stuff like that, this is another good one. After that, I have Olaplex, number three. This actually is, is more of a treatment than a mask, so it's not going to replace your conditioner. You still need to use conditioner, but this is like uh, one of the best treatment masks that there is. So the directions say to use it one time per week for damaged hair two to three times a week. Leave it on for 10 minutes. Then you want to shampoo and condition after. This is really amazing. So if you have completely damaged hair, um, maybe somebody that you're wanting to go lighter but your hair is kind of compromised, you should be using this to just kind of help balance your pH and get your hair healthy again so that you can go lighter. When this first came out on the market, I hadn't used it, but I had a friend that texted me and she had a friend bleach her hair who was not a professional and they just bleached it up. Like it was really damaged, so damaged that it was like mush, like wet cotton. Like it was beyond hay. It was it was like spaghetti. So I gave her a crazy short, cute haircut. Her hair was really long. We cut it like super short. And then I told her to get this. I said, I haven't tried it, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. This was probably like maybe seven, eight years ago, whenever it came out. Um, wow, it worked amazing. Six weeks later, when she came back to see me, her hair wasn't mush anymore. It was really, really dry, which was way better than mush. You're combing and it's completely falling out. And then six weeks after that, it just kept getting better and better. So I highly, highly recommend Olaplex number three. If you have damaged hair, this is a really good mask treatment um, for somebody that really needs it, like really needs some hardcore help. It's great. So the last mask I'm going to be talking about is another one from Davines, and this is the Renaissance Circle. 
So this is another mask that comes in this little pouch like this. It's a twist off cap and again you can get a few uses out of this. This says hopeless hair mask, extreme repair mask and that's what it is. It also smells so good. I love Davines. This is a more extreme hair mask whereas the let it go circle is just more for dry hair. This one is more for damaged hair but what's cool about this is it's actually made not only to hydrate and help damage hair, it's made kind of for hair that breaks easily with um, elastic in your hair, scrunchies, um, clips. If you're somebody that's like constantly pulling your hair back really tight, kind of doing a messy bun or a tight ponytail, you'll notice that you will get some damage just from your hair just being gripped so tight and that elastic around it. This is actually made for that. So. I definitely recommend this for somebody if you're putting your hair up like every day really tight. This is a good one for you because it's going to help not only with regular breakage but with the breakage due to elastic hair ties, hair bands, clips, and all of that. So this is really great. The thing I love also about Davines is that these are paraben and sulfate free. So sulfate free means there's no sulfates in it. It's going to be good to help keep your hair color. So yes, I highly recommend this for somebody that has colored hair that you really don't want to uh, pull the color out. Again, the Amica Soul Food is just like a really good basic one. I'm not sure if it's really sulfate free. I don't think it's paraben free either but it's not tested on animals it's cruelty free um, so that's kind of cool and then the Olaplex um, really it's not paraben or sulfate free it doesn't even say anything about tested on animals but I don't think that it is I want to say I looked it up extreme extreme mush hair this is for you um, but overall I have to say that the two Davines um, masks are definitely my favorite this is one of my favorite brands and I'll kind of touch on Davines a little bit more in other future videos because I just really love the this company. It's a really great company. They're really environmentally friendly and they're really awesome. So yeah, there you go. There's a quick video for you on my favorite hair masks. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you check some of those out and keep your hair healthy. And while you're at it, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to me for more videos. Until next time, bye!